Hello there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rotato. Today we are going to be taking the Generalist out for a spin. He gets plus two melee damage for every one range damage you have and one range damage for every two melee damage you have. But you can only equip three melee weapons at once and three range weapons at a time. So we're going to take him out and we're going to take out the uh, Cacti Club as well. So this is a primitive heavy weapon but it scales off of your melee damage but the projectiles actually scale off of range damage. So that seems like a very good idea on the Generalist, but it is a very, very slow weapon to start with. So we definitely need to get some weapons to arrange weapons to probably offset the speed early on. Uh, I'm going to get some crit chance. There's another one. Perfect. Slingshot might be a good idea for us, actually. One more reroll. There's a Cacti Club. Perfect. Lock in an early bag. So, Slingshot we know is quite a good early game weapon. Um, it does scale extremely well as well. And it's got the primitive tag. Um, so, that gives us extra health. Yeah. Extra health as well. Which is nice. So I think we're just going to focus on flat damage and attack speed, I think. Might be nice. Game Baby with the Beard would be good for this one as well. Uh, go more crit chance. I kind of want to... Kind of want to really scale this up quickly. Up. Which should be pretty good. So this is actually the first video I'm recording for the year. I um, had a few pre-recorded videos uh, around the Christmas period and the first week of the new year so I could actually spend it with the family. And um, yeah, it was good. It was nice to have the bit of a break. But um, get it. Oh, nearly got him. 8% uh, damage. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll go for the bag. New Cacti Club. Hedgehog is really good for us. Uh, ritual as well but um yeah having the break has uh, been quite nice it's been refreshing especially considering i was doing uh weekday work weekend work then recording so it was extremely busy um so i'm feeling feeling a lot more refreshed but um so far this run's not feeling too bad we're feeling a little bit under pressure at the moment but we do only have a couple slingshots. We need to get our attack speed up and running. Uh, we'll go for the melee damage. We get a little bit of armor. Ooh, we didn't get a lot, did we? There's another slingshot for us. Perfect. That should help drastically for us. But... Um, one of my biggest concerns is going to be elites. I know we got a horde wave um, as our first one. I didn't actually check if we had any other elites. But I think the damage might be a bit lackluster against bosses. But we'll have to see if we're getting elites um, horde waves first. We might have a chance to actually um, get to a much better position. Uh, I'm not going to take cute monkey. Ooh, we'll take the range damage. Flamethrower. There's an idea. Uh, yeah. Another cacti club. Nice. That feels good. We do need to sort out some lifesteal. I think lifesteal is going to be the best option for us in terms of health recovery. Because the Cacti Club's thorns can actually trigger lifesteal as well. And since we want to scale attack speed, um, that might be a very good option for us. Slingshot's also pretty good because of its bounces. I think when it eventually gets up to legendary, I think it's got like six bounces or something. 
which is pretty nuts when it comes to lifesteal. So we got loads of sources. Get that tree. Nice. Extra crate. Uh, sure. I can take some luck. I have no attack speed, but 6%... Mm. Uh, take some max HP. Because we've tanked... I think we've... We haven't actually tanked it, but... I was going to tank it here. We'll take both of those. Yep, I'm happy with that. Slingshots will start doing some work. Let's get these eggs. See, that managed to get the eggs before I even got there. Which is a nice feeling. We don't really want these guys to spawn. Because they're a pain in the butt. If you haven't got decent damage to deal with them. This, our materials are all over the place. That's not too bad. Oop. Look at that. We're just deleting those guys. With the shotgun effect. Get him. Get him. We got him. And nope. Take some regen just to get out of the negative. Another slingshot. Yes. Gambling token. I like gambling token. 8% dodge is massive. Is it worth losing the armor for? Eh. Uh, I think it is. I think it is. 8% is a lot of dodge. Especially when... Yeah, especially considering it's capped at 60. I think that's just an easy way to get it done. Throw that in with a couple, um, if you get some 9% upgrades as you level up, you can cap it quite quickly. But then when you're dodging, you might not need as much armor. So, it's not consistent, but it definitely helps. We Okay, this is feeling decent see like this 9% 9% dodge sure then we can sacrifice some of that to get some extra health it all adds up here's our first horde wave not one of the elite ones but just the regular wave 9 horde wave And this feels super comfortable. Can't remember, did we get lifesteal? We did get some lifesteal, perfect. It's definitely worth getting that before this wave. But we're gonna want a little bit more, I think. Let's let's do a bit of collection here quickly. Let's tidy up. A little bit. Got loads of uh, boxes as well. Okay, I'll take a couple hits because I want to see how our life steals working. Mm. Two life steal. Not a lot. This is tempting with thorns, but I don't think so. Go to armor, 15% attack speed. Nice. We're starting to get quite a good amount. I'll take lens. Lens seems good. Mouse. We'll go for a mouse. This all seems pretty solid. Dodge and crit chance. Cacti club. I'm happy with all of that, actually. The mouse gives us 5% lifesteal, gives us more enemies. More enemies might be good for us. 
It's more things for our thorns to hit, our slingshots to hit. Gives us more materials, which means we can build more defensive if we wanted to. I think at the moment, the way we're feeling, it's probably worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. I think our damage is in a decent spot. I do want to get loads more, but... Deliberately took that because I want to see how our life steals looking. And you know what? It looks fine. I wouldn't mind... Yeah. The thing I like about this game is you can build so differently every single run if you want to. Like, I could always build tanky, he says, as there's three armor there. You can always build tanky, which is pretty nice. I mean, we may as well. But extra 20 luck, why not? That's good to get early. That's good. Slingshot as well. Yeah, we'll lock all that in. <clears throat> it's wave 11. This should be pretty decent. I don't think these guys are going to do a lot of damage to us. Because we do a lot of damage back to them. Especially if they get into our melee range. Yeah, I think I'm happy with all this. We got no health regen in terms of um, actual health regeneration. We have different forms of recovery, which is fine. Okay, damage is feeling a little bit underwhelming with the amount of extra enemies. Not bad. Just a little bit underwhelming. So, we want to see if we can pick up some damage. Alright. There's a tree there. Can we get it in time? Only the one. I mean, I'll take that, sure. Ooh. Ooh. Go 12% damage. I do want that. There's another one? Sure. Sure. Like, that is really good to get early on. Alright, let's see how this Elite Horde wave goes. This could be very interesting for us. But I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, as we can see, we're definitely being overwhelmed a bit. But as long as we just keep corralling them, I think we'll be just fine. Run through sections that we know we're going to clear up in a couple hits, especially with the Cacti Club. We can be a bit more aggressive in some of these cases because we know we're going to shotgun with the thorns. Which is quite nice. See, this feels fine, to be fair. Very happy with that. Uh, sure, we'll take some more of that. 15% attack speed, you can't fault that for melee. Ooh, interesting shot. Definitely going to take that, definitely going to take that. Not going to take handcuffs too early. Hedgehog will take. Baby with a beard is massive. All of these are good. Well, we know what we're buying next. So we got an elite on wave 15. Are we confident we could take it down? Uh, nope. I don't th think so. I think really depending on what it is. If it's the host one, I think we'll be fine. The chef one, maybe we'll be fine. Any of the others? Uh, not sure. How many others are there, actually? There's the charging one. Is that the only other one? Maybe we'll be alright then. I think it's just down to whether or not we can lifesteal quick enough. Because a lot of the time, if we're trying to hit them with melee, we can kind of get shotgunned. Which... Normally isn't quite good, because you can see there we took quite a bit of damage there, but we are being 
incredibly aggressive. Uh, no. Uh, I'll take the six speed. Baby with a beard is the primary one. Slingshot. There's another slingshot. Nice. We'll get our um, legendary that I wanted for the elite wave at least. Not that it does anything in particular, it just um, increases the bounces and damage, I believe. But that all helps. One extra bounce is massive. I mean, I feel like there's no enemies on this on this map at the moment. Anyone want to come close so I can smack them with some thorns? Yeah, this is this is nice. What are we up to? 32% dodge. Wouldn't mind getting that up still. But we've got things like... If we get legendaries, there's things like cape. And then we got Retromation's hoodie for the attack speed. So, we got plenty of options. Just whether or not we get it. We got two of these, which... Are pretty good. That's going to help us a lot. Getting them so early on as well. Uh, let's take some range. Uh, yeah. How about we throw in a minigun? Poisonous tonic. I'll definitely take that. Uh, how much knockback have these got? Eight. Yeah, I'm not too worried. Alright, it's the uh, chargey one. The one I didn't want to face. How confident am I feeling in this? Not confident at all. Because look at the amount of bullets flying out of this place. I think we literally just want to survive at this point. I will do my best to try and take him down. Uh, it's sketchy. Yeah, it's way too sketchy. I'm going to just... Collect my materials and call it a day. We, we could have. We could have. But. I'm being a bit. Being a bit. Uh, worried. Get that. Gentle alien. More enemies. I should have done it that way. But every time. Cycling machine. That's. Not a good spot. Another cacti club? Yep. Handcuffs is getting a bit more tempting now. So I'm going to lock it, actually. Maybe we get it next time? I'm not sure. Uh, we probably don't, because we've got the magical leaves that are going to get us, like, six health or something per round. Maybe we keep handcuffs locked. Because that is a lot of damage for us. Considering it's, what, 8 melee, 8 range, which turns into an additional 4 range, an additional 8 melee. 16 melee? It's a lot. It is a lot. So it's probably worth getting. I'd probably prefer an alloy over it. But beggars can't be choosers. Four percent life steal. Sure. Okay. Okay. Now we could do less enemies. <laughs> 
one more. Okay. So we've got another elite now. Okay, this one isn't too bad. It's again going to be the projectiles that are going to be the problem. I think if we just keep running around him, we should be okay. We're tunnel visioning a bit. There we go. Nice. I knew we could take him down in time and his box gives us a full heal. So I was just been... I, I kind of want my free legendary. I want one at least. Kind of need to provide one. And get those trees in case we get another crate. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. So projectiles gain one bounce. That would work for baby with a beard. That would work for cacti club. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's quite a bit of damage down, unfortunately, but I'll counter it there with a 12%. I kind of want to keep that locked, <laughs> just in case. Sure, we'll take some more dodge. E yep. Okay. Okay. It's going to be crazy. How much is... Baby with a beard has done quite a bit of damage already. Yeah. I don't think we need to worry about waves anymore. Waves are going to just be the easiest thing in the world. The bosses are going to be difficult for us. Mainly because I mechanically am bad at dodging. Which is our... Yeah, look at... Our life is going up like crazy. Our lifesteal is going up like crazy. Our regen is now in a positive spot. Oh, I didn't realize there were eggs on this wave for some reason. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. I don't even know if we've taken a hit yet. Oh, there we... Uh, gonna leave that for one more. Tie club. Any more? Okay. Up. Oh. So what do we want for the final shot? I'm not actually sure. I'm actually not sure. Retromation's hoodie, because we've got dodge. That will give us some nice attack speed. Um, maybe alloy and handcuffs. That'd be pretty good. Okay, we got to make sure we collect some of this materials, actually. Power, gen power generator? Mm, it would be a negative... Oh, net neutral. So we don't want that. Wings, maybe, for the speed. No. We'll take 12% damage, though. Ooh, alien eyes. Oh, you should bounce. Okay, that's massive. Hang on. That's, mm, is that massive, though? Or is Alien Eyes better? Considering they bounce. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go alienize. That's such a bad idea, but... That's such a bad idea. But we're doing it. You see what I mean about not being able to dodge shit? Okay. A little bit concerned about this, but... I think we're in a good spot. I think the damage, the extra damage we got at the end there is definitely helping. I'm feeling very strong, very defensively strong. Just trying to focus down this guy at least. Okay. Alright, now I'm not too worried. Now we've definitely won. Because this guy is not a problem once he gets to his next phase. He's not a problem at all. There we go. I'm happy with that. <laughs> We're still running with a common, but... Oh, big arms. Plus 10 melee damage, plus 5 range damage. That would have been very good for this run. But I find that's always how the characters are. And if everything you unlock tends to be better for that character, as well as others. But this, I think this was huge. Brian's Magical Leaf. Two of them so early on. Alien Eyes, for one round, that's pretty good damage. Where's Baby with the Beard? Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm happy. Happy with that. Brilliant guys, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, consider subscribing to the channel and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.